The 37th Annual Synod of Methodist Church Nigeria Diocese of Oweri has come and gone with loads of deliberations that will take the church to the next level. The four-day event was turned into a practical showcase of love to humanity, with the church handing over relief materials to 35 indigent members and widows of late ministers of the church. So this time we are going to take uh, 35 members. Ten of them they are widows of our late ministers who are part of the diocese. The church headed by the bishop, then is a bishop woman, is concerned about the problem of members, especially because are indigent ones among us. This diocese has uh, an NGO with a domestic uh, foundation, so uh, they have been able to open funds to buy those bags of rice and so uh, We are distributed yesterday to the members in the diocese. We present to you on behalf of Methodist Church Nigeria, Diocese of Owerri, in the name of God the Father. God is song. God is song. The Saturday section also had a free medical screening for delegates, a move the church said is very necessary to ensure that members are healthy. Right now we are just attaching a medical screening to the synod that is ongoing. We are located that in every major church gathering, a medical screening should be attached and also a medical seminar so as to enlighten people on their health. At least with this little attachment we've done, we can screen out hypertension, we can screen out diabetes, and to an extent we can screen kidney diseases also. An opportunity for people that are ill to have consultation with the medical doctors on ground. The foundation also helps people during conferences and synods to assess some free medical care. And in the past, we've been able to distribute motorcycles and some equipment in order to establish some business people among us. And we are now talking about training some youth to acquire skills in various fields, which can help them. When I came to where the diocese by the grace of God, God laid it in my heart five areas to work on as a kind of vision. Number one is to work on the spiritual life of this diocese. Number two, infrastructural development. Number three is evangelism. Number four is social welfare ministry. And also number five, to see how God can help us on the issue of finance. And I am happy to be glory of God. This God we are serving is a faithful God.
The final day witnessed a spirit-filled Sunday service with Most Reverend Dr. Okenwa ministering and a plenary section chaired by Honorable Kinsley Okonkwo. You see the right woman must have been praying for a child all through her life. But by being hospitable to a man of God, she eventually got the long awaited here. It wasn't praying alone that opened the door for her, it was also her character. For the past 37 years, this function has been going on to the glory of God. And uh, today is the 37th one. For the congregation, all of us know why we are here. Because it is um, a conference of the church. Thank you, Honorable.